Welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. Welcome to Keep Productive YouTube channel if you're brand new, but if you're a regular, welcome back. So today's video is going to be Evernote Spaces. Now, Spaces is a brand new feature that Evernote have launched maybe a week to two, depending on when I release this video. Um, I'll include the blog post that they created uh, below, which outlines some of the features and experiences and I'll also include a timestamps of the features that I talk about specifically below so that you guys can go skip forward if you want to learn more about it. I'll also overview at the end whether it's suitable for you. Right now it's only available for business owners but the Evernote team have said that they plan to release this for personal uh, users so it probably will be coming soon. So guys without further ado let's jump onto the laptop and learn more about the brand new Evernote Spaces. So here we are with the Evernote business account that I have. Uh, one of the teams set me up with it um, and as you can see here on the left hand panel um, you've got something called Spaces and you've also got Space Directory. Now I am the only one on this Evernote business account so I'm just going to show you the core functionality to it versus it being used in context, they have zero notes added here. It's more of a just a learning space. So once you press the new space function, um, you get to create a name. So I'm just gonna call it like, uh, keep productive. And you can add a description too. Um, so you can know what the team members, so for example, the team members are looking at it. You can list it in the space directory business, uh, for your business, sorry. Um, and you can also give, uh, you, you make, must make them request access or they can join with just viewing access or the whole kit and caboodle edit and invite. Um, so once I create that, what happens here is a new uh, spaces comes up for keep productive. And you can see here, it's quite cool. Um, you can start filling your space with uh, everything from a note to a uh, notebook. So for example, here, I'm just gonna make a new notebook called YouTube. And as you can see here, as soon as you create something, the spaces is really opened up. And essentially they're collections of notebooks and uh, and also uh, notes. So you can see here, I have a notebook down here and from here I can create new notebooks. This is essentially a dashboard to some extent. So for example, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a brand new note inside of this uh, new uh, spaces area um, inside of the notebook. So for example, I'm gonna put, uh, Hello world. And I'm gonna put like uh, the new Todoist layout there uh, inside of the window, just so that I can see it shown off there. Now, if I go over back over to the spaces section for here, you can see that uh, you can invite our people up here. Um, you can see that once it syncs, um, you can see that the hello world has popped up here and you can see that it's popped up on what's new. So basically new items will come in here um, any, it's almost like an activity log to some extent. And you can see as well the user. So if I had a beautiful username, it will come up here with my profile photo. So if you have multiple people in the team, you can see everything at a glance. Um, and I don't think Evernote Business really had this before. It was more like you could see this through the recent notes view or, or just like just through uh, that whole thing, search. And maybe, there wasn't really like the space where you could have it, I guess. So if I go into here, um, and uh, I'm looking at this, you can see the top right hand corner that is a business note, which is nice, so it's very specific. Um, but what I wanna do is I wanna pin it. Um, so I'm gonna click this reminder on and see whether this is the function that pins it. Um, it is not. Um, so you go to pin notes and you can go into a different, uh, ah, you can either pin, so you can, no, you can't pin notebooks, but you can pin notes. So I want to pin that one, I'm gonna click done, and it's pinned. So I can create any pin nodes what I want, and that instantly gives me access there. So for example, let's say you're a team, you have onboarding documents, or even like a major project you're working on, you can have it all here. So that's really simple. You've got basically the activity log, basically a pin note section, uh, which you can modify and edit. And I think if you had a multitude of them, you can move them about, um, which is very nice. And you also have all of the notes and notebooks here. So you can create a space per section. So for example, um, here we are. Um, so this is a space directory. Um, these are some of the ones that the um, uh, Evernote team have uh, pulled up. So maybe these are better examples of worked ones. So getting started with Evernote, uh, let's look at something specific like the hiring process. Let's just join this space. So I'm a member, so I'm gonna go over to here. Um, and as you can see, it's come up in my spaces my spaces directory. And as you can see here, um, the what's new section. So I can scroll through exactly 
who uh, is inside of this section, which is quite cool. So uh, that's pretty neat. Um, and you can also see the pin notes that they've got here. You can also go over, so for example, and see some examples uh, of all the people that are related. Um, this is a hiring process, so you can see this is how it's being used. So this is a workflow scenario. Um, the one thing that you could do is have this as a space for hiring setup. Um, so let's just go over to Daniel Clack. Um, so you can see that he's been used here as an example um, of one of the notes and all of his information and CVs there ready. So you can see all of that lovely stuff. So as you can see, um, it's a fairly flexible process. Um, I, all I would have to do is invite people up there, but I don't actually have invite access. Um, let's just demo one more of them. No, I don't want to create a new space. I want to demo one more of them. So I want to go over to the marketing uh, the campaign. So my, I'm just trying to help you put this in context to certain situations where you use this. So for example, you could see all of the marketing notes here and any of the, um, you could you could even store templates here, which is a pretty cool idea, I guess. Um, so it's actually very flexible to whatever project you're working on. So this could be your project management area to some extent, um, and you can use notes solely for the storage of items. So guys, hopefully that one was useful for you. Uh, I hope it was a nice overview of the Spaces function. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Um, and also, if you're brand new to this YouTube channel, hit the subscription button and bell notification. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.